Hello guys, welcome back. I'm S. Stan Wolf, and uh, thanks for joining me today. Um, what we're doing here is, uh, well, I'll tell you one thing you may notice on this video is your building. <laughs> because I have uh, basically run a muck in the uh, Steam Workshop today, and you guys have created some awesome, awesome, awesome pieces for me to use. Because honestly, since about Thursday... I've been in a little bit of a rut. I know you might think, um, well, how in the world could you be in a rut? We've got 400 new pieces, a whole new theme. You know, I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, I, maybe that's it. I was just overwhelmed with all that we have now, and I could not come up with a thing to build uh, until today I come up with this idea to basically, um, this is going to be a fantasy, kind of, you know, fantasy-ish kind of theme park uh, built totally over water. So basically most of the parts and stuff, the rides, um, you can see I already have the magic twirl down. I need to start getting some coasters in. But most everything will be um, over water or, you know, near the water. I think that, that helps kind of differentiate this project from other kind of fantasy stuff we're seeing right now um, just by adding this water element. So basically everything you see here though comes from you guys. You guys have been pumping out these buildings and uh, they look awesome. The only thing I've done on here was actually this castle. So I have made this castle. Um, I'm probably gonna make it available for download but one thing is I'll need to finish the back of it or either I could just leave it like this and leave that up to you guys. You could just use it as kind of like a facade but yeah the back of it isn't done. But yeah, guys, this is where I'm at with this. Um, like I said, making the water almost as shallow as possible. I kind of like that better. It gives that more kind of village feel than making the water so deep you can't see the bottom. And uh, yeah, so I think that has worked out um, really nice. And basically, the, uh, the the whole theme of this park is I want to make it to where if the you know when the guests are walking through the park. Um, and they're looking at these facades and all these buildings that they can imagine that the people that live in these, um, they get everywhere by boat. They do their shopping, they go to the restaurants, they get, you know, they get their groceries, they live on the water. And every building here is accessible by boat um, to one another. So that is, uh, that's kind of one of the main parts of, uh, of this park and the thinking on it, just to uh, let's try to make it to where... Um, it's believable as possible, but still keep that uh, that fantasy uh, fantasy element that you guys have been so awesome with these buildings on. Um, yeah, so what I'll probably do is with this series, it'll just be updates like this. Um, it won't be uh, more or less me building buildings. I mean, I might put some of my own in this, but especially since I'm using your guys, I probably won't um, actually do any time-lapse videos on this park. It'll be more or less me just, um, you know, updating it, putting in rides and stuff. Uh, that'd be one thing I'll probably do as far as the coasters and stuff go and the stations. Probably that will all be mine. I won't totally go pre-made on this park. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of where we set with this. Oh, let's speed this up real quick. I'll show you what it looks like at night before we uh, get out of here. But, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, this has been a, uh, a pretty cool element of the game as far as um, being able to use your guys' buildings. And, uh, you know, the only thing, the only drawback I can see from this is hopefully it doesn't make me or us lazy as far as never wanting to build buildings again because everybody else has built all these. That really only sees my kind of... The only thing I see as a trap for me is just getting really complacent with you guys uh, building buildings and me just using those. But, yeah, you know, we'll see. Um, another uh, awesome uh, design over here is uh, the Lady Signer's Restaurant. Really cool. Silverette's house over here. Uh, you know, his, his house looks awesome. All of these, you guys did a wonderful job. Tim I. Uh, his cast, his uh, tower here looks awesome. Um, got the haunted house mansion. Just a bunch of stuff you guys have been putting out. Um, really, really, uh, really, really coming along awesome. So appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what this uh, show you what this looks like at night. And yeah, that's where we're going for this. I really uh, need to get the uh, probably get the path attached and start getting some people in here because. 
you know, like we all know and, uh, you know, what we always say, these parks really come to life uh, once you actually have the guests walking around in them. It just brings a whole new look and feel uh, to the park once the guests are here and actually walking around. So, yeah, really, really happy with this so far. Like I said, I go from not being able to build anything. I was in a total rut on Thursday, and I've kind of just sat here all day today. This was all from today. I uh, just kind of hammered this out today, did the theming, did the water, took a little bit of a break in the middle of the day. But basically, this has been my uh, total Saturday project. So, uh, yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Planet Coaster content and to... Uh, you know, keep up with what's going on with this park and uh, and, and what, what I got going on with it and what we're able to try. So, uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate you, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Mike. Hey. Hey.